Ahoy, ahoy. I'm continuing on with this Regency Loki project, and the next thing I'm going to be making is pants. So I was going to link, this is the Rocking Horse Farm pattern. I was going to link it down below, but I don't think this company exists anymore. I have made these pants before for somebody else that was over 10 years ago. I'm a little intimidated by it, not just because I, I can't stand making pants, and I also don't like wearing pants, but <laughs> um, just the the fitting process of trying to get something that was meant for a larger, less curvy body to work for my size because I'm very small and slim and definitely an hourglass. But we're gonna get going on this. I will I will link um, alternative patterns for this Regency style pants below. So let's just get sewing with this. So I found this weird greenish wool that I could just not resist, even though I have no clue if this color is historically accurate. That's okay. You can see here that as usual, my first step was to serge the edges with white thread because I didn't want to re-thread my serger. For that, the next step is diving right into the most complicated part of this entire process, which is putting together the facings for that flap, the fly front. It has all these little flaps and bits and tabs just to make sure that it has that nice smooth front that you see in all those portraits. Once those final weird little flaps get hand stitched into place, then it is finally time to move on and start putting together some seams so we can finally end up with something that almost resembles a pair of pants, maybe? I mean, I'd say if you use your imagination, maybe it's kind of starting to look like pants. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Weird and complicated steps are not over yet because the waistband is installed in parts and gets that weird pie sliced little gusset in the back. That's going to help it be adjustable at the waistband later on. You're sewing on the buttons. The next most important step is to take a little Netflix break. Those final steps are just things like the buttonholes and hand stitching hems, just getting everything all finished up and good to go. And they are done. So I do, I do like these quite a lot. The only thing is I feel like I should have made the legs slimmer because I feel like it's a little wide and I have a bit of a 1970s vibe going on. I do realize that, you know, wearing the shirt open like this with the collar all splayed out <laughs> doesn't really help that. But it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I thought making them fit was going to be a complete pain, but um, getting that waist to hip ratio easy was not a problem because the back gathers and it has that nice little adjustable thing, which also means I'm gonna be very forgiving for body changes if that happens. Anyways, next I'm going to be working on the vest or waistcoat rather. After that, I'm gonna be making the coat. So please stay tuned if you wanna see more of that or more sewing content in general. That's all for this one, bye now.